A Naples father raising new questions tonight about how Collier County EMS handled his dying son. Good evening, everyone. I'm Emily Dishnell. I'm Patrick Nolan. Four in your corners, Matt Grant has been working to get answers for the family. And tonight, he's showing you what happened when that distraught dad came face to face with the county's top EMS officials. Well, the family of Chaz Minard came here to the Golden Gate Fire Station looking for answers, but instead, well, they found more frustration. We caught up with Charles Minard as he was leaving the firehouse. I still don't have any answers. I have a dead son and no answers. He wants to know why his 25-year-old son, Chaz, looked bruised after paramedics brought him to the hospital after going into cardiac arrest over a month ago. Personally, I think they dropped my son and hit his head on the corner of the bed. The family says these photos show Chaz's ear swollen and purple with what appears to be a blister on the corner. Golden Gate's acting fire chief meeting with Chaz's dad behind closed doors today, telling him Chaz wasn't hurt as paramedics got him from the bed onto the floor to do CPR. Our crews did not, to their knowledge, cause any injury whatsoever to the patient. We sympathize with the parents and we truly are sorry for their loss. Our crews did everything they could in accordance with protocols. Chaz's dad also questions why it took 12 minutes for an ambulance to arrive at his house. He says the family dialed 911, but that EMS officials admitted a glitch occurred, preventing an ambulance from being notified or dispatched. It was by chance the crew at another EMS station heard the call over the radio and dispatched themselves. Are you satisfied with the answers you're getting so far? Not at all. Not at all. No, I'm not getting answers. I'm getting pushed away. Chaz was taken off of life support a week after he was taken to the hospital. His family wonders if he might still be alive if an ambulance had arrived sooner. Last week, EMS officials told us they were investigating the ambulance delay. And I don't know the details of how long that took, so when we know those details, we can certainly talk about that with the family. A report on the investigation still isn't done a month and a half after the glitch occurred. In the meantime, Minard says he plans to keep asking questions questions, fighting to find out what went wrong. I think people messed up and they're running scared trying to figure out how they're going to answer to it. Yeah, according to Minard, EMS officials now tell him that the report will be available Wednesday. We'll, of course, stay on it and let you know what happens. For now, we're in Naples. Matt Grant, Fox 4, in your corner.